going to begin again, I will be editing this, getting it up on YouTube. One of the first big mods that people are going to be asking for is how to add their own logo into the game without replacing any of the existing stuff. So you don't want to replace any of these. You want your own new logo, like my little task group warrior one here, and the like. This information will be brought up on the modding wiki in as soon as I get a chance to put it in, but I want to get this where people can get their hands on it and understand what's going on. So, with that said, let's get to it. First things first, we are going to close Battletech, obviously. <laughs> we don't want Battletech open. So, now, you will need to do a couple of things to get this to work. One, you're going to need a logo. In this case, I already have one up. We are going to need a place to save it, so we're going to, in your Battletech directory, you'll notice that you have a Battletech data, and then a Streaming Assets folder. In here we're going to create a folder called Mods. So I apologise that this is not the, likely the easiest to read, but... Um, We'll go large icons. We're going to make a folder called mods and any st thing we make we're going to make and put it in here. So in my mods folder I have mods, robs, emblems, player and then I've saved two copies of my logo. The reason I saved two copies of my logo is I found I needed to flip my DDS file for this to save. In Photoshop or, some, or anything that can make a DDS file which is a direct draw sprite file. You can get the for Photoshop, you can get it from your Vidar for free and the like. You want to save it out and you want to save it as a direct X5 file. So DDS save. It's going to tell me it already exists. Direct X5 and you want to tick this. Save flipped vertically. Now it's possible that we're meant to be running in DX um, 3, but I'm just doing it in DX5, I know it works, and if I save it flipped it works. Anyway, once we have the file, so you can see here we have the file and we know where it is, so it's in mods, robs, thing. we need to do one, si well, two simple mods to get it in game. We need to go to back up into streaming assets and then into the data file and in here you will see version manifest.csv this is a comma separated value spreadsheet or data file it will open up in Excel so if we double click on this you'll notice that Excel will happily open up there is a downside to editing these in Excel one, you can easily mess up the file format and you need to close Excel anytime you're going to open Battletech because Excel will not allow something else to access it. For ease of showing you what is actually happening here, I am going to leave it in Excel so I can explain what we need to do. So we need to make a new file for our emblem and to do this we are going to take an existing emblem in our case the start soldier here and we're going to copy this line here We're going to come down to the bottom. We're going to paste it. We're going to take the same one from this texture 2D. We're going to copy it. We're going to insert the copied cells and we're going to just make extra room. Now at the moment all this would do would actually give us just another copy of the original one. So what we have to do, 
it's first off we have to give it a unique name so this has to be unique so we're going to call it EMV TXR heraldry which is what this basically is stating underscore my new logo and we're going to give this one the exact same name so my you might be wondering why you'll notice we have a sprite and a texture 2d object here so we need one of these will likely be what goes in on the mech or the like the other is a texture which is what this one normally is and this one's normally what goes on the UI then we need to point it to where our file is in my case I've got, already got it up here but I'll try and explain this so these this is the file path from your root data directory so from the streaming assets directory so if we look here we can see that I have mods, rob, emblems, player, task group or tgw.dds if I follow that from my streaming assets directory which is mods, robs, emblems, player and we can see it. So we're going to add this one here just for the sake of this which will be a flipped up an upside down version. So we come here, we type mods forward slash. Even though normally we'd use backslashes, this the way it's entered into the CSV file is always flash forward slash. Robs emblems it's all automatically filling out for me, but you get the point. And then on this one I believe it was okay, it's one at the front. One there and we're going to copy it again here. So now we have these two files in. We're going to save the manifest and we are going to close this down. We do, if you do not close this down you're, not go, you're going to see what is about to happen occur when you run Battletech. I'm doing this on purpose to show you what happens. So if you do not close the manifest file down in Excel, and this is why it's better using Notepad++ or something, this will happen. And anybody who played the beta will <laughs> and did any modding will recognize what's about to happen um, as basically a file come. Thing. So if you ever see this, make certain your manifest file is closed. This is basically their, oh sh crap, something happened um, screen. And, and we can find out what's happened by going to data, coming down and we have this output log. And if we scroll all the way down, we'll see that basically we have a whole bunch of errors because it couldn't open the file. And if we actually go up far enough, we can see that we have a file access error. And the file access error is caused because we still have the version manifest open in Excel. So if we close Excel, we come back to our Battletech folder and we run Battletech. Give it the moment to start up again. We get our nice little skull screen as it goes through loads. Now, at the moment, I do not know if this will disable um, PvP. I literally have installed the game and worked out this simply because I knew it was one of the first things we were going to be asked for. But if we come all the way down, you'll see here's my upside down. Um, logo. So, as for PvP, let's go take a look. Mm. 
Well, it'll let me here. I don't know if it'll actually let me into the game um, without anybody to quickly test with. I can't. Um, double check. If anybody has an unmodded game right at the moment and wants to jump on, we'll quickly host a game. Turn my volume down. So, we're just going to call this test. Call it. We're going to stick it a private. We're just going to passwords underscore test. If anything, we're literally just going. So, if somebody wants to quickly jump on, who has not modded, we can see if it breaks. Um, otherwise. Thing. I have a feeling it may, uh, if not, that this may just show up as the old missing sprite to the other person. But without somebody to um, check, I can't be certain. Me not thinking didn't actually get to put this over on the wife's machine because she has Battletech as well. And <laughs> go, hey, can you quickly log in for me? Um, give me a second here. I'm just seeing if. Got of some. Let's jump back for a second here. And actually, I'll do the testing and I'll let people know afterwards, because um, I'll get it on my wife's machine. I prefer to um, I prefer to do that type of testing in a closed environment, um, where I'm not going to mess it up for others. But I will let people know if this interferes with this section at all, as soon as I can. For the moment, I'm going to close this out edit it, get it up on YouTube so that people can um, do at least this part with the caveat that I do not know if this will break PvP at the moment. Anyway, like always, name's Rob. I'll catch you guys later. And don't forget, btmodding.warriorsblood.com Later guys.